What is up, awesome people? And welcome back to my Pokemon X and Y tutorial series. So in the last episode, I showed you guys how to get multiple metal coats, as well as showing where metal coat was in-game as well, which was at the Pokeball factory in Lavery City. So as I did explain, um, the four Pokemon that hold metal coat in the wild are Magnemite, Magneton, Metang and Beldum. Three of those of which are Safari Pokes, which I do recommend um, sorting after if you want more metal coats. Okay, so in this episode I'm going to be showing you guys where to find Deep Sea Scale and Deep Sea Tooth, both of which are needed to evolve Clamparole into either Gorobus or Huntow. Gorobus, which you'll need to equip Deep Sea Scale to um, Clamparole and Deep Sea Tooth to Clamparole Max Huntowl uh, Hunt through Trade Evolution. Okay, so there is one of this item in game for both Deep Sea Scale and Deep Sea Tooth. For that, we'll need to make our way to Azura Bay. So I'm starting off on route, well, the route just before Azura Bay. Um, I think it's route 12 or route 13. Anyways, so I'm going to jump on my Blastoise and we're going to start surfing. So we're just going to make our way north and make our way into Azura Bay. Keep heading this way, make you way up north again. Start making way northwest from here, and of course I use repels just to get past wild pokes. Right, keep heading northwest, avoiding any trainers if you wish. Turn um, west from there, down here, keep heading west until you hit the border. Down here, looking out for rocks. Cross here, you'll find a patch of grass, and the first pokeball you'll find is deep sea tooth. As, as I mentioned, if you equip that to a clamp roll during trade evolution, you'll get a Huntail. And just down here is also Deep Sea Scale, which is used to evolve clamp roll into Gorobus again through trade. And I wonder if that rock has anything. Yes, and a Hyper Potion as well. I'm just going to throw in a free Mac, uh, Hyper Potion as well. Alrighty, so as well as finding those in the wild, you also have a chance of catch, uh, thieving them off Pokemon as well. So there's quite a few Pokemon, and this actually surprised me quite a lot too. Um, there is a lot of Pokemon in this game that actually hold either Deep Sea Scale or Deep Sea Tooth. Now the following Pokemon hold Deep Sea Scale, and again these are five, well, rotten 5%. So Chinchou, Lantern, Gorobus, Relicanth, and Basculin with a blue stripe. All hold Deep Sea Scale. Now, Chin Chow can be found using a good rod. I would recommend um, Chin Chow if you're going for a deep sea scale. As for deep, deep sea tooth, there's Carnivine, Sharpedo, Huntel, and a red, stripped, a red striped Basculin. So I'd probably go for Kavana, which is again a good rod, good rod poke. So I'm just using the same old um, method to get my um, items, which is um, Compound Eye Pokemon at the front, Frisking as my second poke, and yeah, um, as I mentioned, Compound Eyes raises the chance of wild Pokemon holding an item by 50%, so it raises that 5% to a 7.5%. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go grab my good rod, not my super rod, my good rod, out of my bag, and I'm going to use that. So obviously I'm going to go for a Chin Chow here, for a chance... Oh, I reeled it way too fast. I actually um, hit the A button. Oopsies. Anyways, um, as I mentioned, I'm going to go for a Chin Chow here to go for the Deep Sea Scale. Oh my god, I reeled in too slow. Um, also, this is where I ooh, found my shiny Chin Chow as well. And as you can see, I'm not really with it at the moment for fishing. Oopsies. I really can't commentate and fish at the same time. Oh wow, nothing is biting. So, usually you'd have a Pokemon at the front of your party who has suction caps so this doesn't happen but since I need compound eyes at the front I need to sacrifice suction caps oh come on nothing is biting this is not fair not cool right I'm just gonna just head over here then and right, just use my good rod again hooray I finally knocked the hooked line and sinkered one hurrah just one problem though chin chow isn't exactly the most common poke. <sighs> so you probably know, everyone's probably thinking, where the hell is my compound, compound eyes poke? It's actually fainted at the moment, just to make life a lot easier. So with that fainted, um, the ability still kicks in, so everyone has a 7.5% chance of holding an item or whatever they're holding gets increased. Alright, so another annoying Ramoraid. Ooh. Um... 
Unfortunately, the Pokemon I mentioned, none of them are quite common except for Basculin. Um, I could go after Basculin, although I think I can only find Red Strip somewhere. Hmm. For frick's sakes. I'll keep trying for Chinchow. Hurrah! I hooked line and sinked another one. Oh my god, it's a Reverade. <sighs> right, so I'm just going to run from that one as well. Right, just going to throw my rod again. I'm not going to do this too many times. Right, nothing seems to be biting again. I mean, you could always bring suction caps and just chain fish, hope for a shiny at the same time. I mean, you can do that if you just want to go for the 5%er. I mean, you can also snag the shiny out of it, like I said, so it may not be all that bad bringing a suction caps to do this. It'd probably make life a lot easier. Oh my god, really? This mustn't be my lucky night. Oh wow. This is probably a prime example of how hard it is without using suction caps to fish. Oh, unreal. Feels like I'm fishing in real life again. Yay, I finally got one. Another Remoraid, freak sakes. Right, well you have to take my word for it because I'm not going to be able to show both of these items um, in video because I'd be here for like half an hour trying to find something. So I'm just going to fly to where you can catch Kavanas. So that's where you catch Chinchows. Um, for Kavana, you need one route you can catch them on is Route 22. So I'm just going to fly there. Same deal with Sharpedo as well. Um, you can throw in your Super Rod, get a Sharpedo. Same thing with Lantern on that route. Throw in a Super Rod and go for Lantern. Again, Lantern, oops, is rare. I hate having two items in my registry as well. I'll turn my repel off. Oh, no, that wouldn't have been affecting it. Anyways, on Route 22, just going to come over here and I'm going to throw in my rod. Hurrah! First go, we get something. It's a Goldeen! Right, so, uh, looks like Goldeen's the more common one for Good Rod. Right, so I'm just gonna run from that one. Hopefully we line in a Kavana. Actually, to be honest, I like Kavana and Sharpedo. I might end up using a Sharpedo competitively as well. Yes, it's a Kavana! I actually found one of the Pokemon I'm looking for! Please be holding Deep Sea Tooth! You ripper! Alrighty, so that one's holding Deep Sea Tooth, so I actually get to see, uh, show one of these items on screen, at least. Alright, so I just thieves that um, Deep Sea Tooth off of Kavana. It goes for the scary face, but I don't care, because I'm running away with your item. Ha ha! How about that? Right, so... As I mentioned at the start of this video, Deep Sea Tooth is used to evolve Clamperol into Huntowl. Right, so where's my Gorgas? I'm going to take that. Now I'm just going to keep fishing here because I think Kavan is a little bit more common than Chinchow. Yes! Oh, I reeled in too slow! Wow, I'm really out of knack. This is what happens when you don't play Pokemon for like a month. Your reflex is like a blah. Right, so another Goldeen. Right, so I'm just going to run from that one as well. Right, so hopefully in like a couple of minutes I can hopefully snag another one. That would be really, really cool. But you'll have, probably have to take my word for the deep sea scale. I'm sorry I didn't have enough patience to stick around and try and find one. Oh, look, another Kavana. Oh, it wasn't holding another one. Ah, it would have been really cool if I found another one. But yes, I'm just going over the Pokemon again in case you missed it. Um, for Deep Sea Scale, the Pokemon holding it are Chinchow, Lantern, Gorobus, Relicanth, and Basculin with a blue stripe. As with Deep Sea Tooth, Carnivine, Sharpedo, Huntowl, and Basculin with a red stripe. Right. 
Ooh, we might be able to end the video off an unlucky one. But as I mentioned, Deep Sea Scale evolves Clamperol into Gorobus through trade. Same deal with Deep Sea Tooth, but it evolves her into Huntow. I'm back at no item. Oh well. Guess that was asking for a little too much. But oh well, I can't whinge with um, one. Anyways, that's it for this episode. So, I'm not actually too sure what to do now. Um, I may go through and show a few other items. I mean, I may recover Black Sludge. Um, I did cover that in my Shiny Muck video. I may do like an official video on it. Um, just for those who are curious how to get past Sticky Hold. Um, but besides from that, um... It's probably going to take like, probably another while before I make another one of these videos just because I'm clean out of ideas on what to do for tutorials. So unless I think of another interesting item to show or if people keep requesting for more um, tutorials and what I should cover, then um, I'll probably bring out another one. But yeah, if you've got any ideas on like what you want me to cover for the tutorial series, leave it in the comments below and... I'll see what I can do about it, but besides from that, I may start including um, how to catch in this series now, if I can't think of anything else, so, so yeah, if um, I can't find anything to do, or um, if you want to request something, put it in the comments below, otherwise I'll probably start doing how to catch them. That probably sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it does. Anyways, um, that's it for this episode, so until the next, ex I'm so sorry, I've just stopped talking English, um, I'll try that again. So in the next episode, it'll either be a how to catch episode, or a requested tutorial, or another one that I've just thought of that I think might be cool. Anyway, so until then, this is Lady Crimson saying ciao for now, but not forever. Ciao!